What's going on, YouTube? I am the goods on YouTube, TG So Good, everywhere else today. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you guys how to mod, all right? So most of you guys who have been with me, who have been subscribers, you know how to mod. And the first thing I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna bring up Steam, cause I wanna do this in a friendly fashion. I'm gonna bring up Steam so that I can show you all how to find your folder with all your NBA 2K23 files, all right? So you can do this for any game. Let's start from scratch. So remember, the point of this video is to get us to a point where we can apply mods to our game whenever we want. So we're gonna need to know, okay, where are our NBA 2K23 files stored on our PC? We're gonna need a program called the NBA 2K23 hook by Louie or Louia, L-O-O-Y-H. And then we're gonna need an actual mod so we can see it all play out in action. All right, so some of you may know how to do this already and you guys can skip ahead. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna right click. I already have NBA 2K23 running it seems. So I'm gonna right click here. Let's see. I'm gonna to go to manage, then I'm gonna to go to browse local files. Now when I click on browse local files, it takes me here. If you look up here, you'll see, it leads me to my NBA 2K23 folder within Steam. All I have here are just Steam files, okay? For the sake of this video. So my folder is gonna look very clean. Over here on the side, these are like my shortcuts and you know frequently visited folders. We don't need to worry about those. So in fact, let me see if I can, I'll try to hide those for the sake of this video, okay? Um, in fact, let's use it and um, let's do this. This is what you could do if you wanted to save this folder as like a favorite. Come up here on your address bar. You see it says 2K23, so we wanna, we want to click common or click this little up arrow. The up arrow goes to the parent folder. So either one, click common or up arrow. All right, so then you'll see there's the folder for NBA 2K23. And if you, on Windows 10, I'm on Windows 10, it says quick access here. I'm going to click and drag this folder underneath that and it'll pin it to my quick access. I've already done that. It's actually right here. So I can unpin it by just, let's see, I should be able to unpin this. Hmm. I never actually tried to unpin anything, to be honest. So I'm trying to see, it says pin to start, restore. Huh, we're not gonna worry about unpinning it because I want it there. But anyway, again, if you drag and drop underneath the quick access area, you'll be able to just come here anytime you open up Windows Explorer folder. So you'll be right in here, okay? This is where we're gonna store our files. So again, I've shown you where to access your NBA 2K23 folder. And I'm trying to do this from the perspective of a brand new person, a new beginner. Okay, so if you're thinking about getting NBA 2K23 on PC, that is where you'll get the folder, or if you already have it. Now, if you don't have it, just remember this, uh, NBA 2K23 on PC is not considered next gen. It's actually considered uh, prior gen, old gen, current gen, whatever you wanna call it, okay? It's equivalent to the PlayStation 4, Xbox 360. So if this doesn't look like next gen to you, it's because it is, Indeed, not next gen. Okay, so currently I don't have any mods, but I am able to play the game. I want to exit the game. And remember guys, you guys can speed up the video if you'd like. Now we no longer need any of this. So I'm gonna close this Steam window out and I'm going to gonna uh, open up my browser gonna go over to YouTube and I type in NBA 2K23 PC and I don't see nothing is it's not coming up for me um, mods so I'm gonna type in mods I'm doing this as if 
you know, it's my first time because I don't know if there's new links or what. All right, so there is a video from 2K Specialist how to install, but I'm going to keep showing you here. I just need a link. I just need a link. So let's see. Do we have a link? You know what? I'm going to do a Google search. I'm going to search Google. Let's see. We need to search for something called NBA 2K23 hook. And let's see what comes up. NBA 2K23, it's talking about uh, hook shot. So I need to type PC. All right, so now I see a few more tutorials and stuff like that. All right. Um, do, 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 do. All right, I'm going to type in one more thing. And just remember, guys, I'll probably do a shorter video for you guys. But it's just not right now because I'm it's the beginning of the year and I need to uh, I need to figure things out for myself also. All right, so I'm not seeing the relevant information that I normally would see. But here is Louis Twitter. So let's see if he has an official link to the hook. And if so, then I'll I will make sure to send it to you guys. Okay, here we go. I'm I'm not going to click on the direct link just yet. I want to click on I want to click on this uh this forum over here at NLSC which usually has helpful information. You guys can go there and interact with each other, just sign up for an account and stuff like that. Now this will help us. Okay, so he's saying everything. Okay, this is the 2K22 link. I'm so sorry guys. This video is unorganized because it's meant to act. This video is meant for those starting off for the first time. So I, I'm, I'm actually confusing myself trying. You guys, I can see, I can understand how hard it would be to find relevant information for 2K23 specifically. Okay, so he says the description and usage for for the 2K23 version will be the same as last year. So that's why he gave us last year's link. And also a thanks to I'm Dominus for the donation, which made it possible for him to work on this really quickly and um, get this out to everybody who's playing PC for for free. Dominus did dominate. So you guys, I said Dominus did dominate. Dominus did donate. So you guys make sure to uh, like that and, and hit, hit up Dominus. OK, he has a YouTube and everything. OK, so we're going to go to the direct link. I will have a link to both. Louis, um, Twitter, as well as his link right here, his original link to the 2k 23 hook, which I'm sure he will update over time. He may update over time, but it's not for certain. So for right now, let's click on his link that he has provided and goes to media fire. Now this, this is not any kind this is nothing bad for your pc i just want to disclaim that and if you think it is then you should stop the video here and go with your gut instinct okay so we're going to open up our 2k23 folder and we've just downloaded i have just downloaded the program or the files that are going to allow me to use mods. Now my web browser is Firefox and you may have something different, but just go over to the folder that has your downloads in it. So on the left here is my 2k 23 folder from steam on the right are all my downloads. I'm always downloading something. Okay. So then we're going to want to double click on this zipped folder that we just downloaded. Let me take you back. Uh, I'm so sorry guys take you back to my downloads. Here it is here. You should have a file with a similar name, NBA 2K23 underscore hook underscore V 0.0.18. I'm going to double click that. And then within it, it has four five, well, two files, two folders. Okay. So we want to, I'm going to highlight all of those and drag those over to my 2k 23 folder. As you can see, two of the files will go to the bottom here. And then my two folders are at the top. 
And so I want to discuss what the two folders are for these two files down here. You don't need to do anything with you. Just make sure you leave them in this folder. You, you never have to take them out unless you don't want. Well, unless you don't want this program um, on your PC anymore, then you can take those out. But otherwise, just leave them there. All right. The mods folder, when you double click it, it's empty. That's where you're going to store your actual mods. And then the NBA 2K hook folder. This is where you'll have your plugins, your scripts, different things of that nature. Okay. So now that we have that, now that we've put all of that into our game and remember I had the game up and running at first. So that'll be just remember that. So I'm going to go back to my downloads folder. I no longer need this zipped folder. So I'm going to right click it and I'm going to delete it. I don't need it anymore. So always remember to delete unnecessary files from your PC so it can save you space and time. All right. So now I need mods. I don't have any mods. Okay. I don't have any mods installed. So I'm going to, I can exit this web page. I don't need that anymore. And now I want to look around and see, I'm, I'm still on Louis page. So let's see what he has on September 12th. He actually made a, team selection screen. So I'll show you. I could show you what it looks like to begin with. Let's see if anybody has it. Somebody should have it. We'll go back. I'll see do 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 again. You guys can uh, fast forward through this. If you don't want to see this type of stuff but I'm trying to give a full breakdown and I know people don't like watching long videos, but I'm trying to give a full breakdown. Do, 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 do. Trying to find it. Let's see. I'll do quick play. So you guys can see what the uh, screen should look like. Okay. So this video is by J box pH. Big shout out to him. All right. So when you go in, you go to quick play. So supposedly this is how it's supposed to look starting out. I can't remember for myself. Yeah, I believe this is it. And then the players appear once you uh, press, I think the Y or triangle button on your PC controller. And then you can select from different jerseys and things like that. Okay. But with this mod, what this mod is going to do is going to bring the players up in the background automatically it looks a little bit different. So it, it just going to add a different element. So you can separate yourself from the look of current gen on console. So let's go ahead. I'll have the link to this down in the description. Another mod by Louie, which he has provided for free. Thank you. All right, so it's downloading. And once it's finished, I'll go to my downloads folder and there it is the team selecting screen. All right. So then he has these two folders, which we already have. We have both of these folders already. Let me double click on it again. Okay. So what you could do, what we're going to do is get back. We're going to double click that from our downloads folder. Uh, again, let me go back to my downloads folder. So I'm not confusing anybody. All right. So we are going to double click this that we did just download. And again, we have these two folders right here, but ours, like when we go into scripts, there's nothing there. Plugins, there's nothing there. So what you can do is you can grab the ones that you just downloaded, highlight them and drag them over. And what happened? You didn't overwrite anything because these are folders. You didn't overwrite anything. What you actually did was merged any files that you didn't already have. You've, you've put new files in with old files. You might've had the folders merged together. So now when we go into mods, we actually do have mods on our computer. 
All right, so I'm gonna right click this and see, go to properties. This is an if file. I would like, I would definitely like for Windows to show me. Um, let's see. Here we go. Okay. I want Windows to show me the uh, extension names for each one. So the file types basically. So up here, I'm going to click where it said I'm on view and then I'm going to click where it says file name extensions. So now you can see it says dot if. So these are dot if files. So great. Now we can finally start up our game. We can go back to our 2K23 folder by clicking here or here. Oh, I forgot to show you guys inside of the NBA 2K hook inside of scripts. Last time it was empty, but this time there is an actual script here. So uh, there's there's something there this time. That's part of the mod. All right. So we're going to minimize and go back to my downloads folder. And since I already have these mods now, I can delete this download. Okay. Now we can finally start up NBA 2K23. We're going to let Steam do its thing. And this pops up. So it says press F8 to pop up GUI, which is graphical user interface. And so I've decided to do this in depth tutorial just because each year there are new people joining on PC. Okay. 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 All right. So now I want to go to play now so I can see. I want to go. Let's go to play WNBA. Actually, let's go to a quick play and see if the players pop up. They do. This is good. They do. Okay. I like that. So again, now you are starting to set yourself apart from what the game looks like on console current year. And eventually someone will probably mod this again to where it looks even more different. But this was just a start of video so that you guys could see how mods work. Okay. So just to reiterate, now this is about a 20 minute video and hopefully you new guys support this. This is a full breakdown of everything. This is a mod. Okay. Now we've installed what we call the hook and I showed you the basics of everything. I showed you where your 2k 23 folder was. I showed you how to download the hook program, showed you the creator of it. And then when we go to mods, we're going to, we'll have something in that folder and you will not, sometimes when you download a mod, you only need something to go in here. It could be a folder. It could be just a file, but you won't always need to download scripts. Just this particular mod was, we did need a script. If you're downloading cyber faces, which are player body models and faces, then it, those things just go in here. Okay. So I've shown you how to get started and I'll make more tutorials for, uh, people that are very new beginners, uh, so that we can start to separate current gen PC from console PC so that you can feel like you're getting your money's worth because on PC, again, this game it's not the next gen version, but they have made upgrades to the gameplay. And so on the graphic side, on the menu side, on the features side, we're going to start upgrading this game so that maybe it has some next gen features and things of that nature. All right. So if this video helped you, I would like for you to give it a like. It was a very long video. Check it out anytime you need. Come back, fast forward through it, do whatever you need. I am the goods on YouTube. I've been very patient within this video. Um, thank you guys for watching. I am the goods on YouTube. If you would like to follow me on Twitter, my Twitter handle is TG so good, all one word, no spaces on Twitter, okay? TG so good. So just go to Twitter, search for TG so good. Press the follow button and you guys can tweet at me anytime. 
all right guys i hope this video was very helpful especially for beginners um 